Also breaking overnight, I'll take it, Jan. A car crashes into a middle school at Bucks County. Take a look at the damage here. The driver rushed to the hospital. I'm going to see this reporter Rossi Mateus live at the scene in Doylestown, where those crews continue to work ahead of students arriving there later this morning. Good morning to you, Ross. Good morning to you, Janelle. Police haven't told us a whole lot, but it would appear that this is where that vehicle crashed right into Lenape Middle School here in Doylestown and left some pretty significant damage behind. We have switched sides from when we spoke about a half an hour ago, hopefully to give you a better view of that damage. You can see there's a restoration crew here on scene. We have been watching them as they cut up large pieces of plywood and they're currently drilling it into where that hole is. It appears that this is a temporary patch to allow kids to go back to school while they come up with a more long term solution, a long term fix to the hole left behind by this vehicle. Now, according to the Central Bucks Regional Police Chief, they got the call a little after 11 o'clock last night about a vehicle crashing right into Lenape Middle School. Officers say just one man was inside of that vehicle and he had to be taken to Abington Memorial Hospital. And police are now investigating this as a potential case of DUI. We did not see the vehicle here on scene, so can't give you a vehicle description or a uh, description of that person who was taken to the hospital. Back out here live, though, you are looking at a tree not far away from where that vehicle crashed into the middle school. Can't say for sure if these are two are connected, but you can see there is a fire do not cross caution tape tied around this tree. So um, you can imagine this is all part of the investigation, which again is in its early stages, but this is all going to be taken into consideration as police continue to investigate this situation. No word yet on exactly what's going to happen with school. We did reach out to the Central Bucks School District to find out if this is going to affect classes, but we are still waiting to hear back at this time. We're live in Doylestown this morning. Ross DiMatteo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. An active scene, and Ross, we know you'll keep us up to date. Thanks so much.